Stanley, Scuba, Sailing, and Adventures. This is a scuba gear review for the Orca Torch TD-01 Diving Headlamp. I was really looking forward to getting the Orca Torch Diving Headlamp and excited when it arrived in this cardboard box. Packaging has always been pretty good on their products so far. And inside we have the carrying case. The carrying case seems to be a fairly sturdy construction. It's not extremely hard, but uh, soft-sided enough, if that makes sense, that it would retain its shape and keep anything inside from being crushed. Smooth operation on the zipper. Felt like a quality zipper. Let's dig in, let's see what we have here. Here it looks like a mounting screw. Looks very similar in size to what I would use for my GoPro. And we have the warranty card. Looks standard. And we have a bag of extra screws and a couple nuts. Not sure what those are for yet. Uh, power cord. Looks standard, looks short. I prefer short power cords, just easier. There's less to wrap up and just less to get tangled up. I guess this is the owner's manual. Let's take a look at the specs here and see what we have. LED Max 1200 lumens. Looks like the white light beam angle is 17 degrees, 180 degrees adjustable bracket. High heat dissipation can be used underwater or on land. That's really good because it's got this red light function and I really want to use this headlamp for sailing. That's what uh, I was really excited about because most of the headlamps, you want to have a red light when you're sailing at night, and then if you, you fall in the water, if that thing's not waterproof, it's just going to stop working. It also has a reverse polarity protection in case you put the battery in wrong, which that's really helpful for me because I tend to just dig into things and then read the instructions later on. Feels like it's made out of pretty sturdy aluminum probably says in the instructions, but uh, I'm going to guess that's aluminum. Standard size battery. That's a relief. I love that. It's the same size as the batteries I have for my other Orca Torch products. It looks like there's an additional mounting screw here. Yeah, I guess that's just an extra. Oh, one's a little bit longer than the other. Okay. I guess that is the headband mount. Oh, and a couple of extra O-rings. What do we have here? One, two, three extra O-rings. Looks like they've already been lubricated. And then this mounting clip. I think I read that this was for another piece that wasn't included. I don't remember what it was. I, I don't think I have anything that this would fit into. But the head strap, um, I'll probably use that. I've never used one of these before. I think I might actually have one for my GoPro. This mount really looks similar to the GoPro. I'm gonna have to see if that is the same and if it'll fit on some of the GoPro things. Looks like there's some rubber on the inside of these straps for the head mount probably help keep that in place looks like it just slides in here and then I guess you use the screw that mount one of those mounting screws I'm not sure if it matters which one yeah 
I guess this other clamp is really the same thing. Have no idea what that goes to. I'll set that aside for now. Let's try and figure out where the battery goes. There's a battery cap. Check to see which way this battery goes in. Maybe I should look at the instructions or just drop it in. Better check the instructions. Okay, so positive goes in first. Well, it looks like the battery, you can just plug the charging cable right into the battery. That's super convenient. Won't have to carry an extra brick around. Looks like there are two O-rings there. Screw back together. Oh, <laughs> on the cap it shows which end of the battery goes in. There's a positive and a negative. On that cap I just screwed in. And the other end here is a dial. Looks like you can switch from the white light to a lower white light. off to red the dials nice and tight it gives you a click so you know which position you're in that'll be handy when it's on your head I guess you could tell just by the light but also by feel let's put this together I guess that just slides in just like a GoPro mount. It's almost exactly the same. This piece that I'm screwing in it is also aluminum, which is nice. I've had some plastic ones for the, the GoPro mounts and they don't seem to last quite as long as the aluminum ones. Oh, there's an indicator there too, white off red. Someday I'll read the instructions first. All right, that's it, I guess, for putting it together. And there's the battery indicator, positive in, negative out. Like I said, I'm really excited about the sailing use of this, of the diving, but really the sailing as well. Oh, okay, there's a red, red flashing function. Perfect, perfect. Here's a quick look, what it looks like on my head with the headband mount with the mask. Here I am in the backyard. This is the bright setting. This is the dimmer white light. And here's the red light. The light is incredibly bright. I'm, I'm really surprised. They make these so compact, but with so much light. Anyway, I was thinking about how am I going to put this thing on my head because I will be doing giant stride entries. I'm not going to be doing cave or technical diving. And when I jump into the water, I'm worried that headband's going to rip off my head. Maybe I worry too much. But I remember that this um, this is a prescription mask. I don't know if you could tell that's a bifocal prescription mask, but it came with this GoPro mount, this Hollis mask. And I looked for hours. I save everything. I knew I had it. Anyway, I'd never used it. I'm trying to figure out how it goes on here. See, there's a little hole in the back and it's got this um, Allen screw and I loosened it up, but I don't think that's quite big enough for it to slide in. I'll loosen it up a little bit more. All 
I'm not exactly sure how far this thing has to open. It's plastic. I don't want to break it. Oh, it looks like I loosened it far enough. <laughs> Probably the better way to do it anyway. Yeah, I guess it that um, piece in the back slides through the hole and then there's just a little lip on the front end of that that slides under the front of the mask. And I'll just tighten this back down. I'm really glad I remembered that I had this um, GoPro mount, and that's that's what it is. It's just a standard GoPro mount. It's got the screw built into it, um, and I will try to, or rather, the the nut built into it. So I'm going to just try and use the screw mount that came with this headlamp, this uh, Orchid Torch TD01 diving headlamp, and. Look at that, screws right in. So yeah, this does work with a GoPro mount. Nice, now I can do my giant stride entry and not worry about it. See, I've already put my initials on it. I put my initials on everything. That mounts really nicely. The head strap that was provided with it probably would work just fine even for giant stride, but um, I'm surprised it's really nice and light too. It's um, it's not bad at all. When I jumped in, I didn't feel like it was bouncing around or any extra weight on my mask. Here we are on a night dive. And this thing really puts out a lot of light. I'd say this is sufficient to be my primary dive light. Pretty good distance on it. There's the dimmer light function. It's still print plenty of light. And there's the brighter light function. I'll turn it off. And here's the red. Uh, I don't know that I'll really use the red for diving. That'll be more of a sailing thing. And I'm really excited to have this for sailing and and for diving. Great product. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.